Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be about a highly requested topic which is how I edit my Instagram and blog pictures. If you're not yet following me on Instagram, make sure to check out my account. It's at Jolly Janine. I post all kinds of photos, travel, lifestyle, fashion. And in this video, I'm going to share with you how I edit my photos. So when I first started off with Instagram, I used to edit everything on my phone. I used Viesco, but I reached a point where I really wasn't happy with my pictures anymore because when you edit on your phone, so much of the quality gets lost and you're not able to edit pictures the way that you really want them to look like. So as I progressed with my Instagram and my blog, my boyfriend suggested that I use Lightroom to edit my photos. And in the beginning I was a little bit skeptical, but after using it for a few weeks, I realized that was the best thing I ever did for my photo editing. Lightroom isn't expensive, it costs around $10 a month, which is 100% worth it. With Lightroom, you're able to improve your pictures so much. You can manipulate your images that they will look completely different. Like you shot them, you have so many possibilities. And Lightroom is also great for organizing your photos. I take all of my pictures with my Sony Alpha 6500 and I make sure to shoot in raw mode. Shooting in raw basically just means that your camera captures way more data, making the editing process a lot more versatile. However, if you don't have a camera that can shoot raw and you just take pictures on your iPhone, I would even still recommend using Lightroom because it's just the best photo editing software out there. So for editing in Lightroom, I created my own Lightroom presets which fit my style and which really help improve my pictures. I have presets for all kinds of scenarios. I have some, for example, I have urban ones, I have tropical ones and I use those as a base. So I put on the preset and I work with the picture from there, which makes it a lot easier. You don't have to work from scratch. You don't have to play around with everything because you already get a nice look once you put the preset on. You know, even if you're not planning to get any presets, this video might still be very helpful for you because I'm going to show you some other tools which I like to use to edit my pictures. So the first photo that I'm going to edit is one of me by the beach in Cape Town. And first of all, this picture is way too bright. So I'm just going to bring down the exposure a little bit. Okay, this looks way better. Um, now I'm gonna put one of my presets on it and because it's kind of like a tropical beach photo, I like to use my tropical presets. Um, I think in this case, I'm gonna use tropical three. Yeah, I really like this because it makes my skin nice and tan. The water looks blue, um, which is really important to me in beach pictures. Um, I'm just gonna make some slight adjustments here. So. Um, I think my skin is a tiny bit too orange, so I'm just going to bring the orange saturation down like a little bit. Yeah, just like this, that's even fine. And maybe saturate the blue a little bit more so it really like, pops out on the photo. Yeah, I think I'm happy with it. This is the before and after. Looks really nice and I would be happy to upload it to Instagram like this. Um, the next photo that I'm going to edit is this picture of me at a coffee shop. Um, first of all, I'm going to crop it for Instagram, 4 to 5. Perfect. Because it's an urban picture, I like using my urban presets because I've made those especially for pictures which are in the city um, or at coffee shops. I like the urban 6, but I think in this case it's a little bit too dark, so I'm going to use the urban 1 preset. I really like the urban one because it looks very vintage -y, um, and the colors are super nice. So what I like to do for photos where I'm kind of closer, I like to enhance my eyes a little bit and I'm going to use the brush tool to do so. So I just go into my eyes, use the brush tool and I go on iris enhance. And then what you can do so you can adjust the size of your brush and pretty much just paint your eye and it kind of makes your iris pop and enhances your eye color. A second eye, here we go. Zoom out. Looks good. And then what I also like to do when I have some blemishes in my face, I use a spot removal tool and you just adjust it to the size of the area that you want to have improved. So here's a little pimple gone and here's some dark patchy thing on my skin and you can just move it to whichever area is like the most similar to the skin area you're trying to improve. Here's another really small pimple I'm doing the same thing. Perfect now it's gone. So this is before and this is after. 
I'm really happy with this edit. Um, my eyes pop and it's a really cool vintage picture, a really cool coffee shop photo. So the next picture is a photo of me and Julia in the snow and because obviously usually in winter you don't get that much light. Um, the picture is a little bit dark so I'm gonna put up the exposure a tiny bit just like that, that's enough. For winter photos I really like the original four presets so I'm gonna try how that looks. Super nice, however I think because it's quite a girly photo I want it to look a little bit more pink, a little bit more girly. So I'm gonna use the girly four preset on this. Yeah, it's way better. It's way brighter. The pinks look way better. I think it looks really, really good on this photo. Um, and then I'm also just gonna crop it for Instagram because I think I'll upload this one on Instagram. And then I also really like to use the brush tool to enhance my hair because somehow your hair sometimes seems to be like get lost on photos. So I kind of just paint over my hair like really roughly. It doesn't take long. The brush tool, also over Julia's hair. And then I just click here on clarity. And I just bring the clarity up to 16 should be fine. And I also like to put the highlights up a bit so it looks like brighter. And I think that just really enhances the look of your hair. So here's a before, here's the after. Looks way better. I'm really happy with this photo. And the last picture that I'm going to edit is this one of me in Dubai. It's kind of like a fashion urban shot. Um, it's a little bit too bright, so I'm just going to put down the exposure a little bit. Perfect, that's enough. Um, so I think I might use an urban preset just because it's like a very, it's like a city photo. So I'm going to try with the urban three. I like it, but yeah, I don't think it's perfect. Let's see, maybe I'll try one of the original pack. Yeah, the Janine 4 preset looks really nice. I like how this enhances the blues a little bit. So... I'm actually quite happy with this photo. All I'm gonna do is crop it for Instagram really quickly. And maybe I'll bring down the highlights a little bit so the buildings in the background are a bit more visible. Just like that. Okay, that's it. This was literally like a super quick, easy edit. Before, after, looks way better. So now I'm done with editing my photos. The next step is to put them on Dropbox and then I just open the Dropbox app on my phone and upload the picture on Instagram. That's it. If you want to try using my presets too, I have a 10% discount code for you, YouTube 10, with which you can get 10% of all of the presets. I'm going to put the link to my presets down below in the description box. I really recommend using Lightroom presets for editing your pictures because they make it so much easier and they're just a great point to start off from. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video interesting and helpful. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.